This video will show you how to copy your pictures or videos from your iOS device, that's an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, to your Windows PC. I'm using Windows 8 for this, but this is the exact same procedure for uh, Windows 2000, Windows 7, Windows Vista, um, shouldn't matter which operating system you have, even Windows XP. So I'm going to connect the uh, iOS device. I'm using an iPad for this, but as I said, um, all these devices are the same. They're all iOS devices. And here it is. This is my iPad. This is the name I've given it. If I double click this and keep drilling down, I see this DCIM folder. This folder is where all the pictures and videos are stored. I could just copy this entire folder over, or if I go into this folder and keep drilling down, I can get pictures. This is a JPEG file. It's a picture. This is an MOV file. It's a video. I can get all of these off of this device at once by simply, and I'm going to click and drag to select both, or I can use the control button on my keyboard and I can click on each one, or I can go up to file, oh, sorry, where's my select all? Uh, there it is, select all. Maybe that's edit on uh, older systems, edit select all, or file select all, I forget which. Anyway, um, the files are both selected, and I can now um, copy and paste them to a folder on my PC. And I'm just going to do this very easily by uh, just click and drag both of these over to, I'm going to drop them in my pictures folder. They're small files, so let's see this one, uh, they both start with IMG. They should be... Where are they? They are here somewhere. Try to see where they ended up. There they are right here. There's the picture and there's the video. And it's on my PC. If I double click this, it should play. Oh, it's bigger than my recording area. That's all right. And that's it. Well, almost. Let me go back to the iPad. And if my purpose is to clean up the storage on the iPad, I now want to select these files again and then delete them. Why do I do a copy and then delete instead of a move or a cut and paste? Because if something happens in the process uh, while copying the files from the iPad to the computer, uh, the computer shuts down, connection gets terminated, uh, you won't lose any of your files. You can just copy them over again, overwrite the files, no problem at all. So if you do a copy, make sure their files are there, then go back and delete the files. Um, it's a little safer, it takes a little longer, um, but it's a lot, a lot safer in the long run. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching the video.